Hi, my name is Eduardo Alcina and I'm an account representative at Amazon. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step registration process in our Settle Central platform. The first thing you have to do to create an Amazon Seller account is to enter your first and last name. You will also need to enter an email address and the password you would like to use to, use to access your account. Then click on Next. It's important that you don't use an email address that you have previously used for another Amazon account. Furthermore, you must know that you are not allowed to have more than one Amazon seller account. You will then be asked to verify your email address. You will receive an email from Amazon, which you have to open and copy the code. Now fill in this code in the registration process. Then you will be asked to select the country of establishment of your business and your company's legal name. Make sure that the company's legal name matches the name on all your legal documents. You will also be asked to carefully read and review the Amazon agreements and policies listed below. After clicking on agree and continue, you will be asked to provide your business address and phone number, which will be verified via text message or phone call. You will also have to provide your company registration number and the details of the primary contact person. If you are registering as an individual, then you will be asked for seller information, which we will talk about in the next section. After you have inserted all the information, click on Save and Continue. The company registration number for entities listed in the CEIVG is the VAT EU number, in Poland the NIP. For those companies registered in the KRS, then it is the KRS number. Please note that you have to enter the name of the contact person as it would appear on your national ID or passport, including the order of all first and middle names. In this screen, you will need to provide information for a primary contact person. The primary contact person is the person who has access to the selling on Amazon payment account who provides the registration information on behalf of the account holder and who initiates transactions such as disbursements and refunds. You will have to specify if the primary contact person is a beneficial owner of the business and or a legal representative of the business. After that, you will have the option to specify beneficial owner information. Beneficial owners are natural persons who own or control the business through direct or indirect ownership of over 25% of the shares or voting rights of the business. Otherwise, it can also be any natural person who exercises control of the management of the business. The charge method links a primary Amazon payment method to your account. Here you will be asked to add a valid credit card and please note that debit or prepaid cards are unfortunately not accepted. You will not be charged automatically uh, by providing your credit card details. Amazon will first validate your credit card and will then charge your subscription fee in case you are registering as a professional seller. We will also charge any additional calculated fees at the end of your billing cycle. After filling in all the required information, select Save and Continue to move to the next screen. Please note that you will be able to change or add another bank account for billing purposes after the registration purpose process. On this page, you will be asked to enter a name for your Amazon store. This does not have to match your legal business name entered at the start of the registration process. Instead, this is the name that will be displayed to Amazon customers who purchase your products on the Amazon store. After completing this information, select Start listing your products to complete the registration process. Note that if your selected stored name is already in use, you will be asked to provide another name. 
Finally, you will be prompt to activate two-step verification. Two-step verification is your best protection against unauthorized access to your user account, even if your password is stolen and especially if you use the same password in other sites. It is required uh, to activate two-step verification to access your seller account and it's not possible to switch it off. Once you enable two-step verification, you will be prompted to enter a security code and after you enter the security code, you will be able to access Seller Central using a combination of username, password and security code. The code will be sent via text message to your phone number. It can also be received through a voice call or you can also download an authenticator app and obtain it from there. If you have done all these steps, welcome to Amazon. You have now made a Seller Central account and you can start configuring it to make the most out of it and start selling. You can watch the rest of the tutorials to learn how to do that. Now let's go through some frequently asked questions about this process. One. Will there be any additional information required from you after registering on Seller Central? Yes, in accordance to EU regulations, Amazon Payments Europe requires sellers to provide information about themselves and their business so that they can begin to sell on Amazon and receive the proceeds of their transactions on Amazon EU marketplaces. This means that Amazon may require to verify the information you provide during the account registration process by requesting specific documentation, such as personal ID documents, business licenses, or bank statements, as well as company statutes as proof of ownership. You will receive notifications from us when these verifications are needed. Two, why are my documents being rejected? Please, if that is the case, check that the information that you have provided matches exactly your legal documents. Also make sure that you are not covering any element of your national ID if you have uploaded a scan of it. For example, do not cover the picture or the ID number.